What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It's your fearless shift leader, Daylin. And I know what you're thinking. Are you in the back of a police car? <laughs> well, police cars don't have tan seats. No, I'm in a rental car, y'all. I'm in Dallas. And one y'all's favorite internet niece, Axel, scratched me the other day while we was wrestling. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, y'all, I'm in Dallas. I'm in Dallas. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of, like, trying to buy myself some time right now. But I don't even have my hat, y'all. So, everyone keeps asking me, Daylin, when are you going to try to visit the graves of someone in your family? And I've always been on the fence about it because I don't know, I think at that moment it becomes super real for me. And this is just me being very transparent with my graveyard shit family. Like I know this stuff is super real, but then the moment I start like, I don't know, but there's still that level of like mystique and mystery attached to it and uncertainty, you know what I mean? But I feel like the moment I try to speak to someone that I know on the other side Either everything could be confirmed or it could just leave more questions or I might not even be talking to them on the other side. But I felt like I was doing the shift a disservice by being willing to speak to everyone else except someone that close to me. So here in Dallas, I am um, I'm at the Loreland Funeral Home and this is where my grandmother is buried. Um, this is my mother's mother. Her name is Susie Gwynn. Um, she lived with me my whole life, literally from like the age of like two or three till she passed away when I was like 14, 15. So super close. She raised me. So I'm here at her gravesite. And to be completely honest with you guys, this is my first time ever visiting her gravesite. She died when I was in like in the 10th, 10th grade. I went to the funeral, but I didn't go to the grave. So this is my first time coming to her grave. I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel. This is, this might be the first time I've come to any one of my grandparents' grave sites. So all of my grandparents have passed away. My my last remaining grandmother passed away in March. I never forget we were recording the Ghost Brothers podcast and I got the call and I had to step out and my grandmother had passed away. But uh, that's in West Texas. That's who my father wants to go visit, his mother. And his father's out there and all of his family are like in the same cemetery. So we're going to make that trip. But right now, y'all, I know I'm talking a lot. I'm just, again, man, maybe it's the nerves in me. But uh, yeah, I'm about to go try to see if I can get in contact with my mother's mother, Susie Gwynn. So I hope you guys um, appreciate this effort, no matter how it turns out. Love. All right, y'all. So here's the issue. My grandmother's resting spot is literally located right off the freeway. So it's very, very noisy here. But this is the resting place. It's a very, very, very beautiful cemetery located in Dallas. And my grandmother's grave is literally right over here. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. Literally my grandmother right here we've already been out here put flowers out here uh earlier in the week when well, my cousin came out here and put flowers out here earlier in the week this is my grandmother miss Susie a gwynn september 8th 1915 december 7 2001 this is my grandmother 
granny y'all i don't i so this is my first time seeing this young man's covering a guy by the name of christopher dior green All right, what's going on, family? Y'all, I know it's loud out here because of the traffic. So please forgive me if you can't hear me. I'm just gonna record this video. And uh, if the sound isn't good, then I'm just gonna figure it out maybe another time. But I, I definitely want to see if I can at least try. So I have a specific name that I call my grandmother my whole life and I always said that was the true test that if she could really hear me in one of these videos so I know it was awkward when I said like granny earlier because I didn't call her granny I called her something else so if that comes out through this box I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is none of that but if I hear it to me, that is confirmation <laughs> that it's my grandmother. And I will let you know. And at the end of the video, if I didn't hear it, I will tell you what I call her. Yeah. But again, we're right here by the freeway, y'all, and I hate that, but you know. All right, Granny. It's me, your favorite grandson. And I can't even say that. You had a whole bunch of grandkids. But I would like to feel like me and you had a special connection because you lived in our house. I remember getting whoopings. My grandmama used to carry, <laughs> my grandmama used to carry a blackjack, a blackjack. I don't know if y'all know what a blackjack is, but in the hood, a blackjack is a leather strap with a metal ball attached to it, wrapped in tape. And my grandmama used to carry that like it was a pistol. <laughs> like that little metal ball, she would knock. Listen, my grandmama wasn't playing, man. My grandmama had nine girls, nine daughters. All right, Granny. You know me. You know our relationship. So I'm about to pull out this box here. And I know you trust me. And I would just know, love to know if I can hear you or hear from you. You know I think about you all the time. I apologize for this being my first time coming out here. But before doing a graveyard shift, just coming to graveyards wasn't really my thing. But I promise now I'll definitely come more often. All right, Grand, you can talk to me through this. Yeah. Is my grandmother here? Yep. Right. Yep. Right. She's with us. Um. Y'all. What I called her immediately came out the box. And I know y'all probably didn't even catch it, but I just heard it so clear. Go back and hear it. It said Fat Granny. I know that's a, uh, uh, to outside people, that may sound very, very like Fat Granny. So you know how, how like black folks call Granny Big Mama or, you know what I'm saying? So in my family, my mother's mother was a larger woman. So we called her Fat Granny. My dad's mom was very, very little and petite, so we called her little granny. 
And this is just the loving and endearing names that we had for them as little kids. And they wore it and loved it. So don't ever think it's disrespectful. That's my family. She wore it and loved it affectionately. But she, the name is Fat Granny. And literally the box just said that. Like, I ain't cut the box on two seconds. Two seconds. And they immediately said that she's here. And it said her name. Fat Granny, do you can you see me? Granny, can you say my name? So we know. Yeah, so we know that we know that you're here. Um, do you miss us? Are you up there with, with, with my grandfather? Yes, sir. Found him. Found him. I never really got to meet my grandfather. He died when I was like one. Your husband died when I was one, remember? Here we go. I'm going to ask them or ask my grandmother if it is her how my grandfather how my grandfather passed away it's a very unique circumstance so if it comes out we know the play <laughs> granny do you remember how your husband just passed away <laughs> Do you remember how granddaddy passed away? Did that say both? No. Granny, did you say a boat? What happened on a boat to Granddaddy? Y'all, did that just say drowned? Y'all, so my grandmother's husband, when I was like one and a half years old, he never would say goodbye. He was the type of guy that would always say like, all right, see you later. Or, you know, all right, I'll see y'all, you know what I'm saying? When I get back, he never believed in saying goodbye. He felt like bye was final. On the day that my grandfather passed away, he left out the house and he told everybody goodbye. My grandfather went fishing in a boat. He ended up having, I want to say, a stroke and falling overboard the boat and ended up drowning. That's how my grandfather passed away when I was one. So go back and listen to this video, y'all. And see if y'all heard drown. And it sounded like I heard killed at first. But I mean, I don't think that's a form of killing. But I mean, it wasn't him dying by his own hands. But go back and listen if you heard boat and drown. It could be me just 
and putting my own feelings and emotions into this conversation because I want to believe that she can hear me. But y'all let me know what y'all hear in the video. This ain't going to be a long one, y'all. This won't be a long video at all. This hits a little too close for home for me, man. And this is just me being completely transparent. I don't, and I, I don't know how I feel about that. Like I feel so comfortable talking to everybody else's family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is so personal. I'm, I'm a very, very personal person. And like, this is, this is truly me letting y'all into my life. And I just appreciate y'all just embracing me and my journey. That's what I really wanted to know. I needed to hear those questions. I mean, those answers for me to really understand the validity of this box. And again, that's not to say I'm even talking to my grandmother. I don't know. I don't know. Shoot, I could be talking to anybody up there. But those answers were very spot on to me. Granny, I just want to tell you, I love you. Oh. Oh. Fat Granny, tell these people you don't mind us calling you Fat Granny. Enjoyed it. Said enjoyed it. <laughs> Is there anything you would like for me to go back and tell the family? To Saturn. This is fine. But. I know a couple of my aunts have passed away and a cousin of mine passed away two weeks ago that's on our side of the family are you with all of them? y'all did that say Brandon? did that say Brandon? Am I tripping or did that say Brandon? If that said Brandon, Brandon is my cousin that was killed two weeks ago. Brandon is the name of my cousin. Literally, he two weeks ago he passed away. He lived in Austin, Texas. And I had just talked to him a couple days prior. And, uh, yeah, he ran into the street. And as he ran into the street, a car was coming that he didn't see. And it hit him. And he died on the spot. This was like two weeks ago. So for me to ask my grandmother, are you with my cousin and aunt? I didn't say anybody's name. And it sounded like she said Brandon. We got we got a lot of direct responses, y'all. I'm gonna cut the camera off. It's yeah. I, all I wanted was to see the validity of this box through someone that I know, and I feel like that's been proven. I feel like now it's time for me just to talk to my grandmother. So I love y'all and I appreciate y'all, and I I appreciate the fact that y'all respect the fact to allow me or to not, you know, be upset at me for cutting this visit short with you all so I can spend time with my grandma. I appreciate y'all. Love, love, love. And I really hope that this video really added some type of level of just validity to what we do here. Love, Graveyard Shift. Thank y'all for taking this journey with me. Love.